So you're Elfin, are ya? Thought you'd be bigger. Huh. Guess the armor beefs you up a bit. You've got a lot of people talking, you know. But in this town, I call the shots. You play by my rules here. Just remember that. Gotta say, I didn't expect you to run with a gang of women and kids. Those other lords must have been real pushovers, huh? Seriously? Are you this rude to everyone you meet? Don't interrupt me, you brat. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Why, you! So you're the one who took down the lord of this realm, huh? How'd you pull that off? Ha! <laughs> we just swiped the Renan's explosives. And then we blasted them all to hell and back. Explosives? That's a pretty bold approach. But how'd you manage to avoid hurting your own people? I didn't, that's how. But the chance to take out a lord was worth the sacrifice. <sighs> and the lord? What did this sacrifice earn you? Unfortunately, we couldn't manage to finish her off. But now we've really got the girl on the run. She ran? A lord? Yeah. The lady was just a coward. She had a whole lot more bark than bite, that's for sure. She's probably hiding off in a hole somewhere. But not for long. We'll find her and drag her right back into town. Then she'll get what's coming to her. I wouldn't be so sure. She may run, but she'll never go quiet. Shut up, Bright Eyes! I would have run you through already if you weren't with the Blazing Sword here. The whole reason you're fighting is to free the Danans in this realm, is it not? If Shut so, your then- mouth, witch! That's enough! If you're really fighting for us Danans, why keep these bastards around? Why haven't you killed them already? I'm not going to kill these bastards. Whoa. Is that the case, huh? Then tell me the point of this show. They're my friends. <sighs> friends? Renans are Renans. They're the scum-sucking bastards who've been draining our souls for 300 years now! But you know. Our friends and more. <laughs> Son of a! You'll pay for that. That's enough. Dead on. You know that was completely uncalled for. Hmm. All of you, get the hell out of my realm. And don't ever come back! This is Tannen's realm and it's ours, understand? I call the shots here. And I make the rules. I do, Deadime! Leader of the Dark Way! Yeah! Deadime! Liberator Deadime! You are the true leader of this realm! We're not afraid of any bright eyes! It's only a matter of time before I throw every last Let's bright eye out of this realm! The Dark Wings! The Dark Wings rule! Hey, wait up. Told you so, didn't I? You should have left your Renan pals outside. You don't agree with him, do you? I could tell by the look on your face in there. That's how things are with him. He loses his temper, then I step in and calm things down. Better you than me. If that's all, I think it's past time we were going. Look, I just wanted to apologize for what Deadheim said in there. <laughs> At least somebody's got some manners around here. He didn't used to be like that. But, well, that's what losing most of your loved ones will do to a man. He may never forgive the Renans. It's a little ironic how indistinguishable his manner is to that of a lord. <sighs> hey, Bayfon? Dead I mentioned the lord is still on the run. Any ideas where she might be? We looked all over, but found no traces of her. 
We heard some rumblings about activity in Esteluva Forest, but that's it. Esteluva, huh? Wait, you're not going after her, are you? Certainly won't win you any favors with Deadheim. This isn't Deadheim's war, and we're certainly not fighting it for him. Besides, it's like Shion said, her type isn't going to go quietly. Hey, it's your funeral. Don't say I didn't warn you. We'll be sure to keep you out of it. Before we set out, though, is there anywhere around here we can rest? Sure. Building at the end of the road, opposite side. It's all yours. We use it as temporary lodging, to house people who don't have a new place to live quite yet. We're not going to run into any trouble there, are we? Rumors of a certain fiery sword have spread fast. I doubt anyone will be eager to give you guys problems. And here's where I say my farewell. You're on your own, but good hunting. Before you go, how come you don't hate the Renins as well? Oh, believe me. I've got my bone to pick with the Renins. Just not with two of them I've never so much as laid eyes on before. <laughs> Let's head on over to that lodge. We'll figure out what our next move is there. I get the feeling Deadheim signed up to be a rebel, so he could have a roost to rule. Heck, he's no better than a lord. In some ways, he's even worse. I know. How could he use explosives on his own people? And yet, despite the toll of his actions, none of the Danans we've seen seem to question his assumed authority in the least. If anything, they may well consider him a hero, which would say a great deal toward how deeply they resented the Renans here. Still, I don't think this is as simple as saying the good guys won out over the bad ones. Yeah, I don't either. Deadeye might have managed to drive the Renans out of Niaz, but that doesn't make the way he did it okay. No matter which way you look at it. A victory that's earned by throwing away the lives of his own people? No, that isn't a victory at all. I can understand that the Danans here are standing up against their oppression, but that doesn't mean they have to humiliate all Renans just to settle the score. I'm perfectly able to stand up for myself, Alfin. Besides, I'm used to it by... But you shouldn't have to be, Shion. That's just... What I mean to say is, when you've been a slave for so long, it's easy to accept that's how it should be because it's all you've ever known. Constantly being belittled is no different. I don't think that's fair. For me, or for you. <sighs> I just don't know, man. Don't know what? Did I manage to drive out a real live Renan Lord? That's incredible. And he seems to have a lot of supporters surrounding him, too. But he's got an attitude worse than any angry Zoogle. Plus, Niaz is in utter ruins. I don't have a clue what his game is. The Renans are powerful, and because of that, it takes a strong leader to have any hope of toppling them. However, when you take down one dictator only to replace them with another, ultimately it's just business as usual. If it had been Zephyr instead of Deadheim, I don't think things would have turned out like this. Rinwell! Yeah, I think so too. Zephyr did things differently top to bottom. He's not the kind of person who would have forced his own views or decisions on other people. When you do that, you're ruling over others, not leading them. To be honest, I don't know what I would have wanted my dad to do if he was in that position. Law. The whole thing feels weird in a way. It's a weird kind of feeling, but at the same time, part of me also feels... happy? Deadeye and my dad are two very different men. For now, I'm content knowing that. The city is liberated, and yet the air still hums with fear and anxiety. It reminds me all too well of how Vicent once was. Hums? You mean like music? Yeah, none of this sounds like music to my ears. In fact, I've never seen any Danans with musical instruments in my life. You don't need instruments to play music. It can emerge naturally from the sounds of people going about their day and the hustle and bustle of life. 
You seem to care a lot about music, Dohalim. I didn't know that about you. Have I not mentioned it? Before I was a candidate for the Lordship, I had my heart set on the life of a musician. You? A musician? Indeed. Music enriches the world around us. I train day and night to hone my art. Words could not describe my bliss, as my notes carried with them the sights and sounds of nature, the ebb and flow of time, and the thoughts of people on the wind. <clears throat> Dohalim. Forgive me. My loquaciousness can get the best of me at times. Don't apologize. It's interesting hearing what Renan culture is like. <laughs> Even though the Renans destroyed all of our arts and culture. Personally, I was interested in the music of Dana as well. The fact that generations of lords deemed music to be of no use to their slaves and outright forbade the ownership of instruments is lamentable. Not that my words can undo the damage already done. <laughs> What's wrong? <sighs> All right. What the? Hmm? Let's see what's going on around here. Yeah, there might be someone who could use our help. Mm-hmm. Well... I see.
Oh. Just great. Excuse me! <laughs> Good. That's some cryptic text, all right. It could mean anything. Can't we just look around the area? For clues or something? Hey, maybe these are supposed to be different locations? Oh, now you're into this too, huh? Let's see what's going on around here. Yeah, there might be someone who could use our help. <sighs> oh, yeah? Hmm. How's this? <laughs> Great! Yes. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Ah. Uh? Good. Really. <laughs> what? Yes! All right. Right. Really? What? Huh? All right. 
Yes! Over there! Huh? Yes! All right! Yes! <sighs> huh. All right. <sighs> By the by, Xion, if you don't mind my asking, would you be willing to share what sort of clothes are currently in fashion on Rena sometime? Sure. As long as you call me Captain. Sir, yes sir, Captain Xion. I was just joking. Kinda has a nice ring to it, though. That dead -eye creep certainly has a few screws loose, that's for sure. Forget that guy. Right now, we need to discuss how we're going to proceed. What's there to discuss? dead -eye and his crew have already brought down the Lord here. Just let them finish her off. I want to go after her. I second that. I think it's the best thing to do right now. We don't know if the Darkwings have what it takes to beat her. I'm worried what'll happen if we leave her to her own devices. You make a good point, Rinwell. And maybe I'm just being overconfident, but between us and them, I think we have a better chance at defeating her. I have to agree. This realm isn't going to be truly safe as long as that lord is still running around out there. We need to act. Fine by me. But isn't Dead I'm just gonna take all the credit once we're done? Our job is to break down the walls that oppress Dana. What he chooses to build in their place, that's his problem. For now, we'll head to this Esteluva forest Bayfon told us about. Whatever we decide to do, though, we should take some time to rest first. We've barely stopped since Men and Sia. Where are you going? Elfin. You should get some rest. What's got you up at this hour? Just let me be for a minute, okay? Why don't you go back to the inn? I will when you do. Have it your way. Shion. The Lord's days are numbered. I haven't forgotten our promise. You can trust me, you know. Maybe even lean on me a little. If you want. And if I say I will, will you finally give it a rest? <laughs> yeah, of course. Try to get some rest, okay? What was all that about? So we're just going to check things out, right? 
in whatever that forest is called. Esto Luva Forest. Next time, pay attention. Looks like we made it here in one piece. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. Always good to be back in familiar territory. The winds are strong here. Mind yourselves. Ugh, even the inside of my mouth is... The winds outside the capital are blowing as strongly as ever. You can definitely see why people call this place the Valley of the Four Winds. Indeed. Mahogsar is the realm of wind, just as Ganeth Haros is for water. Earth, water, fire, wind, light, and darkness. Rena is aligned to darkness leaving each realm one element each. Is that because some elements are easier to gather in certain areas than others? That is certainly possible, but I suspect the biggest reason is to prevent the lords from squabbling over resources. Funny. You would think infighting would come naturally to an elite class vying for a crown. True, but the Renans rule as a minority. Fighting ourselves would just be destructive. Though, as you saw in Menencia, any abstention from fighting is merely a facade. In the end, you all get usurped whether you like it or not. 
Hmm. That may be true, but something tells me that this time is different. We have to catch up to the Lord first if we want answers. Let's keep moving. What is that ring of rocks over there for? They don't look like they formed naturally to me. Oh yeah. Funny, I guess I've gotten used to weird rock formations. They didn't even register as being out of the ordinary. Most likely, they were brought over by us Renans when we first invaded the planet. Wait, those? So does that mean there's some kind of machine then? And if so, what in the world were they even used for? To manipulate the properties of Dana's astral energy. Really? Think about it. Isn't it strange that the type of energy each realm collects is so fixed? Astral energy by nature isn't meant to skew towards one element or another so heavily. So the Renans reformed it for the crown contest. Sounds like the crazy thing a Renan would do. Renans these days are more advanced than Danans in some ways, but even they don't seem capable of doing something on that grand a scale. Or is that something that's possible on Lenegas? Or maybe the Renan homeworld? I can't claim to know everything about my own kind, but I myself have never seen anything that would be capable of such a drastic feat. But at some point they did just that. Those are the sort of people we're up against. We should do our best not to forget that. You're so amazing, Kisara. You can cook, you can fix weapons. I feel like there's practically nothing you can't do. Maybe you should take a page out of her book and learn to make yourself more useful then. Hmm. I'd be happy to teach you if you want, Rinwell. I learned most everything I know from my brother. Really? Even how to sew and do laundry? Yes, indeed. He knew how to do anything. Sounds like he was a pretty handy guy when he was alive. He was. I'd always follow him around and badger him with questions. I was a real pain in the neck. Now that I think about it, he and Lagiel were the ones who taught me how to raise cats, too. Lagiel is that woman who was with him in the gold dust cats, right? I remember now. The one with the really pretty hair. Funny you mention that. He also taught me how to maintain my hair. Not that those lessons stopped it from getting all tangled up during training. I think it still looks gorgeous. From what I can tell, it would appear as though the only thing he didn't manage to teach you was how to apply makeup. No, but that didn't stop him from trying. He really wanted to teach me everything. Only reason he couldn't was because I prioritized my training. And here I was trying to make a joke. I can't tell if she's being serious. The only one here who knows him well enough was her. Yeah, I guess only Megal could have told us if it's actually true. <sighs> oh? Yes! <sighs> Very nice! Is that so? You don't say. How? I see. Hey! Sure. Nice work. Oh? Very nice. Well? Yes! What? What? <sighs> I don't believe this! All right? No. Sure.
Really now? Was a huge miscalculation. Yet you've drained your glass all the same. Alfin, have you been washing your clothes? It may not be my place to say this, but frankly, they're starting to stink. <laughs> now that you mention it, it has been a while since I did any laundry. I'll wash them for you if you want. Just remember to give them to me the next time you get changed. Oh, okay. Sure. Thanks, Kisara. And, Law, Rinwell, yours are starting to look a bit ragged. What do you expect? Of course they're going to tear up when we're out there fighting so much. Yeah, but it's still kind of embarrassing having it pointed out like this. And Shion? I wouldn't touch me if I were you. Of course. My apologies. All I wanted to say was that your sleeves are getting a little bit dirty. You don't need to worry so much, Kisara. It's only natural our clothes are gonna get a little dirty while we're traveling around. That's no excuse. Your outward appearance says a lot about your inner well-being. Now you've really set her off. Suffice to say, it would appear that the traditions of the Guard are still alive and well within her. What do you mean? What do the Guardsmen do that's so special? Mostly. I'm simply referring to the fact that they're a very... regimented and cleanly group of people. Do I really sound that weird to you guys? Keeping your clothes clean and mended is completely normal to me. Don't get us wrong. We appreciate the thought, Kisara. But we've got a long journey ahead. It wouldn't hurt to relax your standards. Just a little. If you're sure. I wasn't trying to overdo it, I promise. However, if it's making the rest of you tense... I'll do my best to tone it down from here on out. Still, if everyone could bring their laundry and clothes they want fixed, that'd be great. I'll take care of it all for you guys tonight. Don't you ever get tired? <laughs> 